Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you that God will make it a way. When something is in the will of God, no matter what happens, God will make a way for it. It says in Isaiah 43 verse 19, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Uh, I, I was reminded of that situation this morning because of a, a couple of situations that I had. One was where there was a, a camp, a camp, there's a Christian camping uh, ground and everything coming up and it's it's a, a little way from here and we, me and my wife wanted to put our boys into the camp and normally the camps are overnights, you know, they're like three nights, four days, three nights and um, we thought, oh yeah, that'd be great, but then we read the latest email and it said that all the camp there was a day camp for a whole week and that we'd have to drop off and pick up the kids every day and my wife is pretty much crippled and can't drive anyway and I suffer from chronic fatigue and so I, I'm very limited in what I can do so my immediate thing was oh I can't do that and my wife's much more of a she's a bit more of a possibility thinker and an opportunist and she was going don't just rule it out don't just rule it out but you know, in my heart, I know that I can't do that, and I don't, you know, I don't know that that's going to come to pass. And then there's another situation which my son, who plays football soccer, um, his boots blew out the other day, and uh, there was a big rip in one side of them. Actually, I, I looked at them and this morning and saw that there was big uh, splits on all the sides. Anyway. What happened was we were blessed enough to be given a voucher so that he could go and buy some new boots. So last night, Friday night, we went to a, a shop at, uh, where we could spend the voucher and bought new boots. He tried this boot on. He said, yep, that's fine. And we got home. This morning, he's due to be picked up. At the time now is about 9, just before 9.30. He, he was picked up about 20 minutes ago, 15, 20 minutes ago. But half an hour before that, he tried the new boots on, and no matter what he tried and different socks and things like that, they either wouldn't go on, or when they did go on, they were too tight and too uncomfortable. So he went to the old boots, and I thought, you'll have to wear the old boots and tape them up. And when I found them, they were in a heck of a state, much worse than I thought, as I just said earlier. And I was just praying to the Lord, what am I going to do? He had 15 minutes before his coach was going to pick him up to take him to the to the football. And um, what do I do? What do I do? And I, I knew that I have uh, I have I've had six children that have played football. Anyway, I have a lot of old soccer boots and everything. And I played football myself. And I thought I think I have a pair of boots, and they had a split in them, but they'll be all right. And. I know my size is pretty close to what his feet, foot size is now. He's only 12, and um, but he's got quite big feet. So I went out to the garage and looked in this box and found the boots, my old boots, and, the, and I looked at them, and there's no splits in them at all, and they were really in good condition. So I bought them in, whacked them on him, whacked them on him, or he put them on anyway, and tied them up and had about five minutes to spare. What I'm saying is, and that was... I was praying and asking God, I need to sort this out. What am I going to do? I need some boots. And then God showed me that I had those and they were in good condition. So what I'm saying is that God will make a way where there seems to be no way when it is his will. When it's his will for something to be done, to happen, it was obviously to me, it's, my, my, it's God's will at this time in their lives for the kids to play sport. Um, and obviously at this time, for the camp it may not be God's will at this time because if it was he would provide the way so that the kids could be picked up or dropped off and picked up every day and just to encourage you that as it says again in Isaiah 43 verse 19 you know God, there's a song and it says God will make a way where there seems to be no way and it says he, he'll make a, a a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert if he has to he will and from that from that promise there actually he said he would actually do that he's 
turns the wilderness into 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 a um, into a fruitful land and things like that. God's able to do these things when we can't see it. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, because it's only through Him you can know God. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in Him and He in God. And if you end up in a situation, if it's the will of God, if it's the will of God, then just keep asking God and He will provide. But if it's not, and you know in your heart it's not, just drop it and leave it to the Lord because no matter what you try and wangle and do, it will not come to pass. God bless you. Have a great day.